Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me. Reviewing Love is Blind, nope, no. I'm watching Love is Blind Sweden though, so the people who've been asking me, I am gonna do it. We are reviewing, however, Love Island All-Stars Season 1, Episode 6. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell, and leave a comment down below. So, the word on the street is that Arabella and Toby actually have a history, and this could be the worst timing ever for Miss Georgia Steele. Is Are you gonna be shocked to see me? <laughs> Why, is there history between you two? Yeah. 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 Naturally, I wasn't being open, even on the date with Josh. Georgia is now stressed because she feels like, oh, yet another girl in the villa who is Toby's ex. But Georgia, you're not, You're not his ex though, and neither is. Anyways, um, Miss Arabella says that she's now 32 years old and ready to settle down. But you mean to tell me you had a fling with Toby of all people and you are fresh out of a relationship. So much so that people have been sending me DMs that she was at the airport where her man's like two weeks ago. Yeah, okay, Arabella. The girls finally get to meet Arabella. Some of them already know who she is, but they're very curious to know what actually happened between her and Toby. All said that they were open. Yeah. Um, yeah, all of them are open. Yeah. Have you and Toby had a thing? Yeah, yeah. we have. Yeah. Yeah, in the past. <laughs> what was the past? Yeah, what was it? Like a brief, like It was a brief fling. We were texting for a bit throughout the summer, a little bit here and there. Of course, Toby, likely did not know she was going to be here, right? But there's a theme with Toby and leaving all these doors open. So he obviously can't make a decision with anybody. He can't take anybody seriously. I mean, I guess Chloe, but even there, we don't actually know what happened between them. So if I was Georgia, I would be like, oh no. I need to admit to myself that I want something more than just being a fling. And unfortunately, that means I'd have to talk to somebody besides Toby because Toby only sees you as a fling. The man said plenty of times, if we wanted to make it work, we would have before we even got here. Girl, that's all you need to hear. Chris thinks that Arabella is very confident and might be just too confident. Don't know what he meant by that, but he's going to try to talk to her anyways. You look nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> oh, trust me, I'm um, not nervous. It takes a lot to get me nervous. You've got really nice lips. Mm -hmm. Should we go and get a sandwich? Are you hungry? <laughs> and that was one of the worst shadow lines. Worst shadow lines? <laughs> yeah. It's clear that Arabella just has an essence that is self-assured. Maybe this is what he meant by too confident. But then is it too confident to be self-assured and to know who you are and what you want? Okay, Chris. Does Chris, hold on. This is a reach. This is a reach, but y'all know what we do on this channel, honey. We reach. Does he like to pursue women who might be in an emotionally vulnerable place because it's easier to win them over? Because how are you going to look at Arabella, who to me wasn't showing that she's overly confident and say, whew, that one, that might be a hard one. But you had no problem going towards Molly. Like his MO was, I'm going to laugh this girl out of her panties. And it worked for her, Miss Thang. And unfortunately she had regrets, but it's not going to be that easy with Arabella. I don't know, guys, am I the only one thinking on this wavelength? You let me know. Callum feels like he's been doing all the things to get molly back however molly doesn't agree and so they're having a disagreement on what is actual effort and where do they see things going between them i mean i, I feel like oh, i've no, talked to you more than you talked to yeah. me i'll be honest if a girl comes in like obviously i want you to crack on arabella crack on like that's what you need to be doing do you not want to try and like make it work or are you just I don't, it's, it's just a bit confusing. Why are you in my couple if you don't want to build the connection? said, I'm doing all the work. So he has a few frustrations. He's frustrated that he is grafting her and she's not grafting him in return. Personally, if you ask me, she's already suffered. 
okay, suffered as being extra, but she's already been in a, in an over three year relationship with you. And it seems to us, the public, that the majority of the blame is on Callum for why the relationship didn't continue. So if it seems like you are the reason why the relationship ended, I'm looking at you to put in the work. So that's number one on why I'm not grafting you. Number two, you keep saying you're doing all these little things to show me that you want me back, but it's not just about wanting me back. It's about fixing the things that led to us breaking up in the first place. I'm sorry, but a little one-two compliment in the night, it's not good, it's not good enough. Not if you ask me. It's, it, that's not good enough. Absolutely not. And then... um. She has a feeling that he is wanting to explore other people. Now, she doesn't say who she thinks it is yet. She says that later on. But he's like, no, I don't. It's just you. I'm saying that I want you. And so I'm of two minds with this one because if she feels like there's, a, there's, there's somebody else who he'd want or there's somebody else who he's waiting for and he's keeping her as a safe option, I can understand why she doesn't want to jump into it. However, she says him... The confusing thing about him is that he's not saying, I want you and only you. But I felt like he did say that. Unless I'm tripping, I felt like that's what he's been saying, no? Up until up until this episode. So yeah, they're confusing. Honestly, y'all go home. I just, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I definitely can't. It's so annoying watching them because what do y'all want to do? Do y'all want to be together or do y'all not want to be together? And unfortunately, I think... If they get back together right now, it's just going to lead to them breaking up again in the near future. So honestly, just leave it there. Um, uh, Josh. Yeah, Josh and Georgia decide to pick things up where they left off. Obviously, this is before she blocked him. I just want to cuddle. Me too. When, when's our meditation session going to be? Tonight. Yeah? Uh, oh, your lips look nice. You. Yeah. <laughs> They are another couple who I would like to know in detail what happened between them. Why haven't things gone the way that you're now saying you would like them to go? Because Georgia said she's known this man for like 10 years or something. In 10 years, you couldn't make it work? In 10 years, we're laughing at the other Georgia and it's only been four months. You've known this man for 10 years and nothing happened. And most recently, Y'all kicked off so much that you had to block him, but you're just going to pick up where it left off. Girl, he's using you as a placeholder. You have got to know that. There's no way you think this is serious, but all right. The next morning, Georgia Steele decides to be fully open. Sure. Callum refuses to believe that his efforts haven't been good enough, but then he says he's open to talking to... Georgia? I, I wasn't sure if he said Arabella or Georgia because I wrote down Arabella, but in the episode, it was Georgia. I don't know. The point is he's open, okay? Demi says that she's comfortable with Lewis. We don't see much of them, thank God, because seeing Lewis just gives me the heebie-jeebies job. Um, and then Georgia Harrison is letting Josh get to know who he wants to get to know, okay? So Molly is now having a feeling that Callum is not being completely honest, saying that she's the only one that he wants and that he probably would talk to Georgia Steele. Cal's gonna make a beeline for G. Georgia Steele? Fuck off. I didn't see that one really? coming. Trust me. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame because I feel like he does love you, but that's not the situation. I feel like it, from outside oh, no. looking in. Yeah, just get stressed oh, in the situation. I, I would have the better conversation with Cal because he's northern, but it's so hard. If you want to explore that, no, 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 but I, that, honestly. Yeah, but I find it really hard more to get past the fact that, like, you're my mate. I know in previous videos I've said, you know, if you are friends with somebody whose man you'd like to pursue, you need to be honest with them. But come on, was this the time? <laughs> the girl is actively crying and you're going to say, yeah, I do want to get to know him. But there's just that barrier there because I'm your friend. OK, well, as my friend, I would prefer if you would have let me cry in this moment and then we talk about it after. That's just me. But I have to appreciate the honesty. I do. Um, Georgia is as keen to get to know Callum as Callum is to get to know her. So it's good to have everything out on the table. Molly already had an inkling that it was going to go that way anyway. So I guess it's better that she knows instead of just assuming. And then if she says, go and explore, you can't then be hurt that he's going and exploring. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, you can be hurt. Hold on, no, you can be hurt. Let, let me take that back. You can be hurt, you just can't lash out. And I don't think she's going to lash out, but she's definitely making it known that, um, yeah, it hit her. It hit her hard. It'll be interesting to see what this dynamic is looking like, be like because they genuinely are friends, it seems like, um, Molly and Georgia. And maybe you'll have to see your friend go for your ex-man. Boof, couldn't be me. Arabella says that she's been taken by surprise by Mitch. If you ask me, I think she's just entertaining anybody who is interested in her. I have kissed Lib in bed. Yeah. And I'm very PDA. Mm. I'm, I like I'm, a bit of PDA. It was really easy to just talk to him about anything and everything, which for me is really, really nice to just not have to think and force a conversation. No, you've got very good eyes. Yeah, one good eyes are a big thing. Eye contact's a big oh, thing. Oh, yeah, eye contact is a big mm. thing. Mitch, honestly, I don't even think Messi begins to describe what Mitch is because Mitch talks about being physical with um, Liberty because he's a PDA kind of person, right? They make out in the bed, they cuddle, they hold hands, they do all that stuff because he's into PDA. But he is aware that Liberty has stronger feelings for him than he does for her. And so my confusion is why would you engage in that way knowing that she's already ahead of you in the feelings department and she tends to have the um the the pattern of falling hard and fast for people you engaging in pda with her is not going to help that so why would you do that and then with how the episode ends i'm like well yeah of course it would end that way because you keep giving this girl sweet nothings like we said with the Kaz and lewis situation i do think Kaz was making some stuff up in her head okay but with liberty he does give her like things to hold on to that would make her say well okay well maybe he doesn't show me the affection that i would like or maybe he doesn't talk to me as much as i want him to but he when he does talk to me he tells me you're the one i want to get to know i could see a future right tay whatever so yeah mitch you need to be a little bit more self-aware because there's no way you think that what you're doing to liberty is right according to georgia she is completely closed off on Toby and she's gonna open herself up to all the men. So naturally she pulls Arabella aside to ask her what happened again between you and Toby. Oh, did you sleep together? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think he is a good looking guy. Obviously yeah. I think he's a good looking guy, otherwise I would never have gone there. Yeah, in the first yeah, place. yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I would never have when I'm with him one on one, like we do have a flirty banter together. Right, okay. Are you a glutton for punishment? Why are you doing this to yourself? If you don't care about Toby, what do you need to know about his escapades with somebody else? Like, did she want the confirmation that they slept together? And 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 maybe that would be, you know, the nail in the coffin to end things? Uh, maybe. But why? Girl, you're off him. What he does, what he did, what he will do should be none of your concern. Go and find somebody who wants you and only you because Toby ain't that. Liberty had to watch Mitch pursue Demi. And now she's here having to watch Mitch pursue Arabella. I can't lie. I just don't feel like I've been really receiving much from him. I just kind of want someone that sees my worth and like really values me. You're saying that you're looking for something specific. He unfortunately does not meet the bar that you've set for yourself. Find somebody who does. Mitch doesn't. And let's be honest, Liberty is aware that Mitch is going to put effort in who he wants to put effort in. You are clearly seeing that he does not want to do that with you. So maybe you are not the one he wants to pursue. All right. She goes and she tells Chris that outside of Mitch, he would be the one that she would also be interested in getting to know. Chris reciprocates. However, shortly after that conversation, who does he pull? Arabella. I can tell, I can tell a lot about body language. Your body, your body language right now is turned to me, which is a very good thing. Have you had your heart broken? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like people who haven't had the heart broken, I'm like, that's not normal. I would say right now my front runner is crisp. I like his banter. I really, really like his, I get his sense of humor. Like, you either get it or you don't. Liberty, baby, you just gotta hang it up with these guys. Hang it up, okay? You should pick somebody who picks you first and always. And I understand it is early days and some people here do have history and stuff like that, but it is clear as day that these men take other women more seriously than they take you. It might be a hard truth, but if you just see it as it is, 
you'll save yourself the heartbreak instead of investing in somebody who you're already unsure of and then they just prove to you what you already knew in the beginning. As for Chris pursuing Arabella, I didn't even see any kind of interest in Liberty at all. So I don't know why he said he feels the same, but fine. Um, I noticed that his humor is a bit on the back burner. Maybe it's the way that the producers decide, decided to edit the um, episode, but I was like, oh, the jokey jokey has kind of been put to the side and he sees that with Arabella, he actually has to be serious if he wants to win her over. I wanna see how far he, he can get with her. Again, I don't think she's serious, but um, you never know. Josh is talking to Molly and wants to make sure that she is open to other people outside of Callum and the villa by other people. He means himself. What's the crack now? With him? Yeah. Uh, look, it's nothing. nothing is there. I've been cracking on since day one. Yeah, yeah. I have. I've been putting Just myself out me. there and talking. Just not with me. I'm sure I think about like and Carl's putting up and I was thinking, yes. Really? 100%. I think Josh would rather be with Molly than Georgia. I think Georgia is a safe option. Georgia is a safety blanket if ever he's found to not have anybody to pick him or something like that. Outside of Chris, I think this is the first time I've seen a guy really like go for who he wants to because these guys are just not doing that. Chris will put himself out there. These other guys won't. And then later on, Josh even says, um, yeah, he likes Georgia, but he wants to kiss Molly in the night. Not sure how smart of a plan that's going to be, but um, yeah, yeah. Oof. do I want to give him props? I don't think I do. Do I? Should I? Do you guys give him props for like putting himself? I don't know, because this would now be the third. Well, is it the third kiss of the villa? No, it's not. There have been way more than that. The third controversial kiss. Really? No, because even you could add Mitch and Liberty. So the first controversial one was Chris and Molly. Second one was Lewis and Demi. I guess you could say Liberty and Mitch. So this would be the fourth one. Guys, please, again, don't talk about my ring finger. Um, don't kiss that girl. And if you are going to kiss her, have a talk with Georgia on where you stand and ask Molly if she's even okay with it. Okay? because she's in a raw emotional state, honey. Don't, don't, don't be jumping into something you're not prepared for. In the evening, Callum says that he has tried hard enough with Molly and he's now gonna shift his interest elsewhere. I just think she's not, like, she's not giving me anything, like nothing. Yeah. And it's like, I can only try with someone so much yeah. before I need something back. Before she walked in, yeah, I would've picked you. I would've. Oh. So are you gonna chat to any of the other single girls? No. I'm not sure if this is self-fulfilling prophecy because Molly has been saying he has eyes for somebody else or I want him to pursue other people and now he's doing just that. Does it justify what she's been thinking or is it because she pushed him away so much that he just decided to do it anyways? I don't know. Um, he said that if Molly didn't come in the villa, he definitely would have gone for Georgia. I don't know how to feel about it. Because a part of me wants to say like, okay, well then you've had feelings for Georgia this whole time. But if you, if you like somebody more than anybody else, it doesn't necessarily say the interest with those people completely goes, but you are putting your effort into one person. And I think that's what Callum was doing. So I can't necessarily say he always had Georgia on his mind, but then I can't say he didn't either. I don't know, man, whatever. I don't know. These two... Yeah, Callum and Molly are just, yeah, they're confusing. So, Miss I'm 32 and ready to settle down is now talking to Toby, talking about, you know, you and I, we have a vibe. Were you deep down hoping that, that I would be here or not? I don't know. We have a vibe, like there's yeah. no one denying that. And it, but whether it's like flirt flirtation, I, I don't <laughs> it's know. Very, it's very flirtatious. You can't even look me in the eyes. Yeah, I can look you in the eyes, but the problem is like, I don't know what it leads to. One thing I feel like we need to get rid of is the word vibe. Honestly, when it comes to getting along with somebody, when it comes to compatibility, when it comes to seeing a future with somebody, when I hear vibe, I already think unserious. And so these two have already had a fling. She's talking about she wants to settle down because she's 32, but she's messing around with a 25 year old who can't even be consistent with her on the outside because they also had some kind of on and off banter that did not go anywhere. So why are we going back there? For what? For this vibe? Look what a vibe has gotten you. Absolutely nothing. Check it out. 
Stop talking to Toby. Unless you're just trying to get that back broke, then honey, well, do what you want to do in that case. Since Toby and Georgia had their falling out, he has not spoken to her at all, it seems. So she's like, well, if you're not going to talk to me, I'm going to fully invest in Callum. And when I'm thinking about it, there's a few I'm, more boxes I'm that Cal all the way. You and G are perfect here, yeah. bro. Yeah, she seems chill, mate, right on my street, like. You know how to pick them, lads. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to pick them, bro. Georgia still is back on the market, and let's be honest, she's a bit of me. She was always on my radar. Callum could not be happier that, uh, what's her name now? What's her name? Georgia wants to get to know him. I'm like, well, I guess we could say Molly was right then. Callum is giving whack. Toby is giving whack. And the theme that I've realized in this uh, season is that the men lack accountability and the women create imaginary scenarios. And unfortunately, this is just a hodgepodge of foolishness. It's only gonna lead to drama, drama, and more drama. Um, because here's another situation where a man lacks accountability and a woman creates scenarios in her head. Mitch and Liberty. So apparently at some point, um, Liberty had this reckoning and realized, no, Mitch actually does not like me. I'm not being sucked from mugging him. No. Yeah, no, I hear that. But you can actually get lost. No one yeah. knows where your head's at ever, ever. Listen. And I'm getting tired of it. Do you think there's a vibe there? I've spoken to her twice. We're going good. You are still number one. Libby, no answer is an answer, okay? You can't be this man's number one yet he chooses not to talk to you and instead speak to other women. If he was talking to nobody, then fine. Maybe that's just his disposition, but he would rather talk and pursue other women than talk to his alleged number one. Girl, you should have known from week, from the top of the week that Mitch was not serious about you. So she's obviously very irritated with the situation. And then she is talking with the other women and Demi is like, okay, fine, let me let me actually tell you what happened between us. Do you know what, I'll be real with you, Libs. This whole fucking number one chat is bullshit. You're my number one, you're my number oh, one. Oh, shut up. This was a few days ago now. Did you tell Demi she was in number one before the wake up there? Oh, fuck, you know. You didn't, you do, didn't that. do that. You you didn't didn't. I did do that. This is not about Demi, per se, but Demi, you have held the keys <laughs> to two different situations now and simply just sharing would have saved so much drama and chaos. Now, as a viewer, I do appreciate it. But as somebody who's in the villa, I'd be like, well, damn, if Demi had just been more open with Kaz in the first place, Kaz, maybe, I don't even know. Kaz maybe wouldn't have gone for Lewis and that whole kickoff wouldn't have happened. It's not her responsibility to, you know, be everybody's keeper, but I'm just saying, you know, she holds the keys. Now it's this situation where he already had said, oh, he's, uh, I'm his number one. And then that same night, Mitch is kissing Liberty in the bed. It's just, yeah, I was looking at Demi like, girl, you could have saved this whole villa a whole lot of drama. It's great to watch, but damn. Anyways, I don't fault her. I just had to say that as a side conversation. Um, Liberty, I think you already knew. I think you already knew. You needed that rude awakening, but if we're being honest, I think you already knew. And so this is a message to everybody, okay? <laughs> If you are uncertain or if you feel like you know something, instead of just waiting around for somebody to prove themselves to you, just ask. Just point blank ask. So where do I stand with you? And furthermore, have you reiterated these things to anybody else? Should I be concerned about any other connection you have? Should I avail myself to other people? There are questions we can ask to mitigate situations like this. I'm just saying, because I've done it too. I think he like, I'm not sure. Does he? Does he? I already know he don't. I already know he doesn't. So anyways, um, was there a preview for the next episode? If there was, I don't remember it. But anyways, you know we're going to be here regardless. So as always, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.